Wickham crossing up ankles, the feed to the baseline. George completes the play. She's seeing that ring like a hula hoop right now. Yeah, putting on a spectacular shooting showcase. 14 three-pointers. We're just going to show you what's happening. And look who's back at point. High, low, open, look, boxes in. Magbegor, first bucket for Australia. To start this one, their, their transition and really test. You got to tell me this. I think we spoke about it a little bit earlier. But because you were in the Oceania region, it's difficult to play some of the, That's right. the other top. So how do you think Australia started building up their... They come in here and you got here four or five days ago. So trying to get really competitive competition to, count, to make the trip to Australia... After two days technically of travel and 14 hour time difference, you're right, each team has had to prepare differently to be here in Sydney. But when games get to this point, Andrew, what shifts as far as maybe those goals? <laughs> back to back threes, Kayla George. This is why, if, if I was the Grand Pooba, then I know we work for FIBA. Final seven seconds of the half, George. Little kick to her teammate and to Tolo will wrap up the scoring Ooh. for Australia. Won the championship. She, she shot it at 38%, which is good. 38% from the three point line, particularly if you're bigs, is really good. Now in on the action is Magden for the last quarter. It is, and, and, and unfortunately for Mali, a lot of them are like that. But anyone, any of those four can, any of the five. And, and really, there's such a huge, huge advantage if you...